This is going to be a life-changing day. I am starting to work and install one of the most important things on this house. And I am not talking about the toilet. I am talking about this bad boy. Arre! Ahí está. I am officially going to start harvesting water. This entire house is going to be relying completely on rainwater. And for that, we have to build a rainwater collection system. And all that water is going to be stored initially on that water tank. That's 600 gallons. It is going to be a total of six of them. But for now, we are starting small with only one of them. But for this project, I'm gonna need all the help that's possible. So that's why Jordan sent me Enrique down here. This guy really knows how to work with concrete, cement, anything that you can imagine to be built, this guy, I'm pretty sure knows how to. So we're gonna start making a platform down here. That's gonna be for placing the tanks. We don't want those tanks rolling down that way. So we need to keep them over a flat surface. <laughs> Alrighty, first step is to build a base like this one where we can place the tanks over those tanks each of them is 600 gallons and there's gonna be a total of six we're building on a slope so we need to make sure this thing is really strong so we're using cinder blocks cement rebar all the strong things to make sure our water tanks stay into place and don't go rolling downhill We just finished pouring the foundations for this platform. There is a lot of cinder blocks around here. We just need to let them dry. We need the concrete to dry so we can continue building this stuff. We got a it here today with the concrete work. We got, we got a lot done for one day. And guess what? I didn't just get a tank. I also got a water pump. And holy water, these things are expensive. That little water pump that you see right there that thing was 250 dollars
This is just to show you where the water pump is going to be. Right over here, I need to build a little platform. I am still missing more cinder blocks, start mixing concrete. That's not happening today, just heads up. I am done, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do more concrete for today. <laughs> but yes, water pump is gonna be right here. I have to build a platform, start connecting stuff, and I am gonna need electricity for the water pump. So electricity, electric stuff, may be the next step after I complete all this water system. Cause I wanna be able to shower in my bathroom with hot water, I should connect my water heater and all the stuff. And for that I need electricity. What you got over there? Are you peeling a coconut? You are wild. You are wild, Lola. This is day number two of working, building stuff with Enrique. Di hola. Hola. <laughs> today, we're <laughs> today we're pouring concrete over here. This is a platform that we're building for that water tank over there. We need to make sure this thing is strong, so we're using lots of concrete and rebars and all the good stuff to make sure this thing does not break. We have a cement mixer, but Enrique does not like to use it. He says that he prefers to do it the old-fashioned way, on a wheelbarrow. But what he doesn't understand is that I am the one that has to carry all the gravel, all the sand down. And I, again, I'm not that strong. We just finished pouring the concrete and it's starting to rain. Ah, this is not good. Oh my word. No, not letting it happen. I'm not in my watch. Ah! Of all the things that could have possibly gone wrong, this one was the worst. <laughs> I just want to cry right now. I just have to sit here and watch my creation be destroyed. <sighs> One and a half days of work wasted right there. It's probably... Yeah, it's broken. Pretty sure it's broken. The water is gonna get in there anyways. Ah! Why? Right, I got two options. Option number one, I sit around and cry for a few hours and um, I get nothing out of it. Option number two is I put it in my cookie jar and use it as fuel to get more things done, be motivated to do other stuff. So, option two, that's gotta be the go.
And just like that, the stairs are pretty much complete. Got the railing, got the platforms. The only thing that I'm missing is the steps. Because these steps, I want to use some special wood for them. But that wood's gonna require a lot of work and uh, it's, it's, it's coming soon. At some point it's gonna be done, so don't worry about it. But now I can walk on my stairs and woo, feels good. I don't even want to look underneath this tarp. I am convinced that all this concrete got washed away. Uh, but let's let's give it a go. What do I have to lose? I will have to rebuild this entire thing again. So. There is no way. There is no way that this thing survived to that strong rain. And with all the holes in the tarp. Oh dude. I was so concerned because I would have to rebuild this entire thing take like the little piece of concrete out and buy more materials but it survived it survived there is only one more thing to do that would make this morning perfect Woo! and that is placing the tank Oh boy, it looks so good sitting right there. Ah, It's also the perfect size because, let me tell you, there is gonna be a deck extending from here that's gonna cover the water tanks, gonna go over them. And the tanks are the perfect size. It's just gonna, it's, it passes over and covers it like really, really good. Whew. I never thought like installing a tank would be so exciting and also that would be so, chaotic at the same time. I had lost hopes yesterday when I just saw all that rain coming but this morning seeing that it survived just kind of gave me my hopes back. <laughs> the goats are already calling me. Hi George! It's time for them to go out and eat some grass. You want some grass? He's, he's shy in front of the camera so please forgive him. Hey, 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 hey! Come on, dot! Find some yum yums? Yeah. Water tank is already in place, the pump is over there waiting to be connected, but what is next? <gasps> the next thing is probably the most essential of all of them, and that is the gutter. We have worked before with prefabricated gutters and it always end up turning into a mess for two reasons. Reason number one is the wind which comes right from that side. And reason number two is because we get over 200 inches of rain every single year, which may be too much for the gutter holders. And after years of trying, I think we have cracked the code. Now we do handmade, custom-made gutters for collecting water. And for that, we use PVC pipes.
the biggest downside of not using the prefabricated gutter is that the custom made one is 20 times harder to do. Before I go ahead and secure it into place, I need to make sure I have the right angle and then all the water is gonna go through the other end. I just put a cap on this one so the water doesn't get out here. But this is a test of water. Okay, now we run towards the other end. It's working! Good job. The gutter is complete. This is, it's gonna last for so long and it's, uh, it's so strong. Uh, oh yes, the windows and stands, not, not, not even the smallest, not even the smallest chance against the gutter. I got you something, buddy. Come here. Come here, Rod. Do you wanna see it? Do you wanna see what I got you? Do you wanna see what I got you? Look, look. Here. He's more, <laughs> he's more interest on the box. You know what it is? That's a scratcher. You can, you can play with it. What do you think? Do you like it? Oh yeah, the box. Of course, you prefer the box. Are you happy with your new toy? Are you a happy cat? Are you a happy cat? Yeah. I can already picture him playing with that thing all night long and me not being able to sleep, but it's fine. He's gonna enjoy his toy. And I also got some toys for myself. Check this. Got a vacuum. I can clean stuff now. You know that you're getting older when instead of buying like toys and cool stuff, you buy things to clean the house. And I also got this. This is a mattress cover. It's a waterproof mattress cover. Everyone has been recommending me to buy that because you guys say that Roy is gonna pee all over my bed and all that stuff. But I don't think he would do it, he's neutered. That's a question that I haven't asked many times and I think I haven't answered yet, but yes. He doesn't have, wait, he's over there. He's gonna hear me. He doesn't have, he doesn't have the two little sacks. And every time that he remembers that, he gives me this look. And I think he hates me for that. Oh, I am so done for the day. Mm, gonna go to bed now, have a long day of work tomorrow and I'm not even sure if I'm ready for it <laughs> so this is it love you guys so much thanks for all the support if you want to keep supporting us just subscribe we're trying to reach 50,000 and Roger he wants to buy more toys so we gotta make more videos <laughs> all right that's it bye